Hello and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. We're back with some more Love Island today. I do apologise, this is in the process of being set up. It will be better. I just had to throw a few bits on the shelf today to make it look somewhat homey. Um, but that will all change very shortly. I'm going to be playing Love Island The Game 2 Season 4 today. This should be episode 25. I think it's 25. I think there's a recoupling today. Nervous doesn't quite cover how I'm feeling. I'm very, very nervous about it. My microphone should also be the right way around today, so you should be able to get my luscious voice. I am, of course, joking in all its glory. Let me know what you think of the new microphone down in the comments below, and I will uh, get on with the video. This part is called Heartbreak Anthem. Are you happy with your partner? Too bad a disaster recoupling is coming, which means we're not going to be coupled up with Bruno, are we? Welcome back to Love Island. Last time the party was cut short with a surprise text announcing a recoupling. You know, just once, I'd appreciate an invitation to one of their parties. Then I'd have to take part in the recoupling. And that would be terrible. I'll meet you one day, Yusuf. Anyway, let's dive right in. The islanders make their way from the lawn to the fire pit. The sacred pilgrimage is done by a select few every summer. They say the recoupling ceremony dates back at least four years. I'm so cultured. You sit by the fire pit with Bruno close by your side. He grips your hand tightly, leaning in to whisper in your ear. Remember, whatever happens tonight, my heart belongs to you, and I'll wait for you until we can be a couple again, if that's what you want. Bruno says he'll wait for me. I'll wait for you, too. Even if we get separated, I'll find my way back to you. <laughs> Gonna cry? Promise. Bruno lifts your hand and presses his lips against your knuckles. I'll hold you to that. Good, I hope you do. Good? Great. You grin at each other, warmth spread throughout your chest. First text tone rings out in the silence. Yes, I'm up first. I want to couple up with this girl because, well, why wouldn't I? Ever since I've got here, I've known who I was going to pick. She makes me feel... He takes a deep breath. Things. Oh, and our date was really good. Yeah, this girl is fun. So the girl I want to couple up with is Jade. I knew this was gonna happen. I don't know why I managed to trick myself into thinking that maybe, just maybe, we could stay coupled up with Bruno, but apparently not. Apparently that's too much for us. Damn it. New couple that looks a lot like just Tom. Bruno's eyes flashed to yours, his forehead creased with worry. Oh, Tom's coupled up with me. Terrible choice. This is awful. Tom beckons you over to stand beside him. I'm supposed to stand by Tom. I'm gonna go and stand beside him. You get up from the bench and walk over to Tom. He keeps his distance for now, but gives you a small smile. He actually does have a very cute smile. I do appreciate that. I'm sorry for breaking up your couple, but I had to follow my gut. It doesn't talk to me often, so when it does, I listen. Tom followed his gut. It's okay, I understand. You didn't ask to be put in this position. I'm really glad you feel this way. Bora clears her throat. Thanks, Tom. You've actually made this super easy for me. Tell me I didn't get this right. Tell me Cora's not going to couple up with Bruno. Tell me, please. I got to know this person really well on our date, and I feel really excited about where this could end up. They're passionate, gorgeous and newly single. So the person I'm coupling up with is Bruno. I'm not angry. I I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Cora is coupled up with Bruno. This day keeps getting worse. I can't wait for this night to be over. Bruno goes to stand beside Cora. He catches eye. He just shrugs at you. Bruno wasn't expecting to be chosen. You sit down next to Tom on the bench as the rest of the girls line up in front of you. Will's first to get the text. Right, moment of self-awareness for Willem Kimura coming up. Willem? Wait, your name is Willem? Angie, I'll make him my speech. Sorry, it's just Willem? Will clears his throat. I know I'm not the easiest person to be around. I'm flighty, I'm non-committal, I often fall asleep in the middle of conversations. I'm trying to work on all this stuff, but there's one person who always makes me feel like I want to do better, and that person is Tarby. Will and Tarby coupled up. Tarby gasps. Next to her, Valentina just rolls her eyes. Wait! I, are you saying you want to couple up with me? Yeah, I thought that was obvious. Um, wow, okay. Tarby goes to sit beside Will, who takes her hand. Yusuf's face is unreadable. Will broke up Tarby and Yusuf. 
Second time's the charm? Round the roundabout they go. Kobe gets his text next. I want to couple up with this woman because she's beautiful, funny, and impossibly smart. I feel like I'm becoming a wiser man just by being around her. So the person I want to couple up with is Juliet. And we've got Juliet and Kobe again. Juliet looks smug as she kisses Kobe and they sit down together. Next, it's Yusuf's turn. I'll uh, get straight to the point. I didn't appreciate this girl when I had her, and so I lost her. It was a mistake that I will not make again. So I would like to couple up with Najuma. If she'll have me, that is. You're asking me. Surely it would be rude not to. Yusuf's asking Najuma to recouple with him. Do it, girl. He's a silver fox. Uh, this is Bleach. Bleached Fox doesn't have quite the same ring to it. Najuma doesn't say anything, but she goes to sit next to Yusuf and smiles privately to herself. That's so cute. Najuma and Yusuf. James is the only boy left, which I think leaves Angie. Oh, Valentina and Angie. Ooh. Valentina and Angie stand in front of him. Hi, girls. Neither of them reply. Tough crowd. At the last recoupling, Angie and I said we were going to be a friendship couple, but I have a chance here to start something with someone. Valentina gives him a cheeky wink and he blushes. Yeah, I think Angie understands, right? Angie gives him a double thumbs up. Right, cool. So, the girl I want to couple up with is... Valentina! James and Valentina, interesting! You all clap as Valentina gives James a big kiss on the cheek. You saved me! That will bode well for you later. Angie sighs dramatically. Always the single girl, never the bride. Ah well, you never know when a juicy hunk is lurking just round the corner. He waits for a moment. Damn, I thought that might work. What a disaster. I think we've had enough drama for one night. Juliet thinks we've had enough drama. More drama. Abby, when will you reveal that you were actually Juliet's biological aunt this whole time? What? Oh, now you're just reaching, Jade. Gotta keep you on your toes. That sounds like a plot line from my favorite show, Under the Knife. You look around at the debris from the party. Looks like the party's over. I don't know, still feels like a party to me. He kisses the back of Tarby's hand and she giggles. Valentina stands up abruptly. I'm going to bed. You're not going to help clean up. We can all do it tomorrow, babe. People start heading towards the villa, but you find you don't feel tired at all. I may as well do some tidying while I'm awake. You start washing up from the party. The cocktail glass is sticking to your hands. Want any help? You look up as Bruno enters the kitchen. Do I need help cleaning up? I'd rather be doing literally anything else. Why don't you then? You drop your sponge into the sink and abandon the pile of washing up. Thirteen islanders in this place and I'm the one doing the washing up. Criminal. You share a smile. Intense night, huh? So you're with Tom now? And I definitely didn't expect Cora to pick me. He shakes his head. You're too lovely for your own good, you know. Bruno says I'm too lovely. I mean, you've got a point. I attract people, it's uh, what I do. Whether I let them stay near me is a different thing altogether. I'm happy to be near you right now. Bruno drinks from his water bottle. His hands shake slightly. Well, we should probably be thinking about heading to bed. Oh, what? I just realised. I have to sleep next to Cora. Gonna be weird. He sighs. After everything that's just happened, I, I just wanted to check. Do you still mean what you said earlier about waiting for me? Am I gonna wait for Bruno or try it with Tom? I'm waiting for you. Bruno tries to suppress a smile, but it breaks through, shining brightly. Okay, cool. Good. Well, I think that's worth celebrating, don't you? He picks up an unopened bottle of cocktail mix from the party. Look, there's still some of this left. What do you say we crack this open and chill for a while? Just us two. There's a mischievous twinkle in his eyes. Bruno looks like he's feeling cheeky. Anything could happen out here, just the two of us. Do I want to hang out with Bruno for a bit? I think the answer is, of course, sure, let's hang. You take the bottle from Bruno and pour two drinks. Cheers. Cheers. Your glasses clink together. The drink is... Not great. Ugh, that is not nice. Yeah, we can do better than that. Are you suggesting we raid the cupboards? I'm suggesting that we ransack the pantry. An interesting proposition. Let's do it. He throws open the kitchen cabinets and starts pouring through them. Right, we've got lemon juice, uh, salt, sugar, and espresso powder. What do you think we can make with all this? What drink can we make? Espresso martini. Oh, I love those. You flick the kettle on and make a few shots of espresso with the boiling water. While it's still hot, you stir in the sugar and add a splash of vodka. He pours it into a couple of glasses and you clink again before you sip. Not bad, maestro. I've definitely drank worse in my time. Sometimes for a dare, most of the time by accident. One time I accidentally drank a puddle. Long story. We make a good team. That we do. He puts down the glass and your fingertips touch briefly on the countertop. Bruno lets his fingers trail up your arm, 
Almost as if they have a mind of their own. People could see us out here. What do you say we go to the lover's nook for some privacy? Bruno wants to take me to the lover's nook. Oh, I so wish I'd have picked the other option, which was something like, I wish I could see your lover's nook. Lead the way. Bruno takes your hand and leads you out of the kitchen. The lover's nook is lit up with fairy lights. The glow casting shadows over Bruno's face. This is a bit romantic, isn't it? We're just a bit, yeah. With trembling hands, he cups your face. Shouldn't be doing this. Do it anyway. Okay, you've convinced me. Bruno inches closer to you. You can feel your heart start to race. You become suddenly aware of how close his body is to yours. Every move he makes, his chest rising and falling, his smell. Everything about him envelops you. I've been thinking about you. You have? Actually... I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. Bruno looks at you with warm, honest eyes. He hesitantly takes your hand and whispers, I really want to kiss you right now. Bruno wants to kiss me. What are you waiting for? Bruno smiles at you and cups your head in his hands. He lunges in for a kiss before you're ready. Next thing you know, your teeth are bumping off one another awkwardly. Bruno, why can't we just have one nice kiss? Literally one nice kiss. I blame you for this entirely. Ouch. Sorry. Bruno tries again. This time his lips land successfully pressing against yours. You run your hand down his cheek. At the same time, he moves his arm and both your limbs come crashing together. You pause to look at each other. The awkwardness of the situation makes you both laugh. Well, this could have gone smoother. Telling me. I guess I was more nervous than I thought. Bruno says I make him nervous. I think that's sweet. You're particularly cute when you're nervous. Bruno laughs. Well, I'm uh, not done trying yet. Bruno bites his lip and looks you up and down. He slowly edges his lips towards yours, stopping just short of the mark. Maybe we should take this slow, for our own safety? You find yourself slowly nodding in response. It's like he's got me completely under his spell. You breathe in deeply, taking in the feeling of tension as your lips drift closer and closer together. Finally, your lips touch in a slow and gentle kiss. You feel your breath quicken as you fight against the urge to get closer and speed up. Things are getting heavy. Who should take the lead? Bruno. I think I took the lead last time. You hold back, letting Bruno take the lead. His eyes flicker open to watch your expression as his hands explore your body. Ever so gently, he drags his fingertips across your neck, your shoulders, your chest. You let a groan escape your lips as he scratches his nails lightly down your stomach. His eyes are locked on you as he touches you, grinning as your face wrinkles in pleasure. As you both slowly regain your breath, you can hardly fight the smile on your face. That felt amazing. Something tells me you've done that before. Not my first rodeo, but man, you looked so hot. Your eyes closed for a second, enjoying the warmth of your bodies tangled up together. What a perfect moment. Bruno wraps an arm tightly around your shoulders and pulls you closer. I'm just reluctant to go back to the villa and watch you sleep in a bed with a stranger. Can't we just share together? I don't think that's how it works, babe. He heaves a deep sigh, gives you one last squeeze and stands up. Right, bedtime. Right behind you. When you enter the bedroom with Bruno, you find Tom already in bed. Uh, I'll see you later then. Night. He gets into bed next to Cora as you turn your attention to Tom. I hope you don't mind. My feet were getting cold. Tom's made himself comfortable in our bed. This is weird. I totally understand. You and Bruno were together for a long time. I don't have a lot of experience with this kind of stuff, but I'll do everything I can to make you feel safe sharing a bed with me. Well, thanks, Tom. That's really nice. He shrugs. It happens sometimes. I'm gonna have a quick shower and get my PJs on. Okay, I'll be here. You pop to the bathroom and give yourself a quick wash before putting your pyjamas on. I'm gonna go. So we've got these pyjamas. They're the ones I tend to wear, like, all the time. I feel like I'm gonna make a statement and just go for the default pyjamas. It's not very jade, but it is what it is. I like your jammies. Thanks. You slide carefully into bed. Tom keeps his distance for now. I want to tell you why I chose you tonight. You already did at the recoupling. Yeah, but that was in front of everyone. He takes a deep breath before whispering to you. I've kind of always had this feeling like, like I don't fit in. Like I'm not the person I'm supposed to be. Like I'm a disappointment. Tom feels like a disappointment. That must be hard. Thanks, I try not to think about it too much. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I don't feel that way around you. I don't know, I just feel safe, like I can be myself. I'm so grateful for that feeling, truly. I just want to feel like that all the time. So that's why I coupled up with you. Does that make sense? Mum told me why he picked me. We can see where this goes. That's all I'm asking for. Mum bites his lip nervously. Can I kiss you? No pressure, obviously. Mum wants to kiss me. No, thanks. N no worries. Just thought I'd ask. 
He snuggles into the duvet, wrapping it around himself. Well, good night. Good night. Tom closes his eyes and you hear his breathing slow. You must be so tired after such an exciting day. You look across the room towards Bruno. You catch him staring at you. He smiles and gives you a little wave. I wish I was sleeping with him tonight. You wave back before snuggling down into the duvet. Bruno's smile is on your mind as you drift off to sleep. Crikey! So much happened in that episode, I'm just gonna have to hit the online forums tonight. We're gonna hit up Reddit. Onwards to the next episode where Tom gets busy in the kitchen. How about breakfast? In bed? And Tarby dishes out some real talk. He's too lovely for his own good. See you next time, Islanders. What did we think of that episode, everyone? I had a really nice evening with Bruno. Jade and Bruno's relationship makes me so, so happy. And it kind of made up for having to recouple with Tom kind of but obviously not and i'm so mad at yuffie's box i'm only joking i feel like that means that the the, the getting back together with bruno is going to be beautiful and i can't wait i'm looking forward to it let me know what happened in your game down in the comments below were you forced to couple up with tom or cora did you have to lose the love of your life thank you so much for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed this part if you did make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you want to join the little Love Island experience we've got going on over this side of the villa, as well as turning on notifications because you'll be notified every single time we upload a video. Thank you so much, everyone. Again, the background is having a moment. It will be more backgroundy soon, but I will uh, I'll catch you in the next one with some updates, hopefully. See you then. Goodbye.